The tiny hamlet of Cothhithe in Suffolk lies between the A12 trunk road and the North Sea. But while the main road remains a constant distance to Cothhithe, the sea is coming ever closer. St Andrews is now a much reduced church, standing within the crumbling walls of an earlier, grander building. A narrow road leads from the church towards the seashore, but comes to an abrupt halt. The sea has been taking away the roads, cliffs and land along here for centuries. At least half a mile has been lost in the last 50 or 60 years. Buildings like the Bungalow Four Winds, a Second World War gun emplacement and a Coast Guard lookout have all disappeared. This soft clay and shingle coastline is very vulnerable and easily worn away by the pounding waves. A short walk northwards along the beach shows the dramatic effects of erosion. The cliff sides are collapsing and depositing vegetation and trees onto the beach, from which they will be washed away. The cliffs descend to the opening of Benneke Broad. Only a narrow shingle bar now separates the broad from the sea. Benneke Broad was originally a freshwater lake formed by glacial drift blocking off the outflow of rainwater from a shallow valley. Today, regular inward flooding by the sea has increased the salinity of the broad and now threatens its ecological balance. A wide diversity of habitats surround the broad and is part of a national nature reserve with a great variety of plants and animals. The reed beds are particularly vital to the wildlife including nesting birds, amphibians and insects. However, the reed beds cannot survive if the water becomes too salty. Unfortunately, in the government's shoreline management plan, Benacre Broad is to receive no active intervention. This means that nature will be allowed to take its course and no defensive measures will be introduced to prevent the sea's eventual incursion. This incredibly beautiful land and waterscape is privately owned by Benacre Estate and managed by Natural England. Access by the general public is strictly limited with a courtesy footpath along the beach and a short privilege route to the hide on the south side. Efforts in the past to alleviate sea flooding including the construction of earth walls or buns in the broad had some limited success but it does seem that without further work the broad will be engulfed by severe winter storms and sea surges. The question is does the public know or care enough about the threat to Benneke Broad to want to save it from the sea? At the end of November 2011, a high tidal surge overflowed the beach and penetrated the broad.
sea water now mixed with the fresh water. And as the tide turned, the lake's contents spilled back to the sea, scouring out a breach through the shingle bank. By low tide, the broad had emptied and was fully exposed to future salination. The worst fears for Ben Acre Broad had been realised. <laughs> <laughs>